way to the camera. Yeah, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know if we're actually live. Where's my phone? Yeah, I, I was gonna say, can you look on my channel? Yeah. I don't think it's pulling up. You don't see it? Yeah, that's a Wes. That's why I just like checked, but it didn't look like it was doing anything. Well, this is going to be it. Why does it say 91% uploaded? Why is it saying uploaded? Oh, because it's like saving a backed up version on. Oh, okay. But it's like all hooked up. Um, I really wish just like on YouTube, you could just like go live. I know with multiple people. Like, I, you yeah, can I'm like, why live, can't you? you can't do a multi live. Yeah. It's so stupid. Let's just make sure they didn't like add that people. This is gonna be a big problem. Could you imagine if this was actually live right now and this is what people were watching? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't see it anywhere though, so I don't know what the heck's happening. I don't see it either, so. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Are we live? That's why I just went. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, it's set up to private. That would fucking do it. Oh. Well, how do I switch that on YouTube? Okay, hold on. I'm saving it as. Wait, why are you trying? I mean, Okay, we might actually be live now. We might, we might, we went. Let's just like double check this. Oh my gosh, we are actually live. Yay! I see it now. Wow, we did it. Okay, we made it. You guys, this is my first time ever going live on my YouTube channel, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but we're here. Hey! Hey, 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 all of you. Okay, girl, what's up? I know we just talked like a few weeks ago on your channel about the new Nikon Z30. So this is in partnership with Nikon. We are working with them for a good bit of time here. But now that you've had time to use the camera, how are you feeling? Oh my gosh, it's right here. I love it. I've been vlogging with it and I've done a couple sit down videos with it. Actually, one is going to go live today on my channel. So like all of my probably ever since the creator house, those videos have been shot with the Z30. So you guys will see yeah. like the quality is 
amazing. I really like it because it's really lightweight. And so that's one of my favorite things about it because I was using two different cameras, one for oh, vlogging really? and then one for like more sit down and so videos. Yeah. Just because I felt like my old vlog camera wasn't giving what it was supposed to give for those types of videos. But I love the quality of the Z30. Like it makes my vlogs look more polished, but it also doubles really well for like an actual like formal video camera. So mm -hmm. I can use them both, which is nice. So I don't have to like do so much setting up and breaking down with gear. How do you like it? I'm loving it. So I kind of like took two weeks off of YouTube, not intentionally, you know? Um, so like I got the camera and I was like, whoa, so excited. And then I didn't set up any of my settings because I just wasn't filming. So I finally filmed a video last week and I've been filming with it since. And I was going through the footage and I was like, the quality is so much more crisp than what I feel like I'm used to. And even today, like I turn it on just because I've got like studio lights and stuff around me. And I was like, okay, how is this like looking with studio lights? And I was like, my, you can see too much detail in my face, like in the best way, you know? <laughs> a little bit less detail, maybe. <laughs> That's how I am sometimes. I'm like, okay, this camera, you don't have to get all up in my grill. <laughs> I, and that's like me sometimes i have like the camera super close to my face or i'll like zoom in and i'm like maybe i shouldn't do this <laughs> like you can see too much happening here <laughs> oh yeah i totally understand oh my god um, but yeah overall i really like it and i just love the even i took the mic off just to see like how it sounded too without the mic mm -hmm. it sounds pretty good i mean obviously whenever you have the mic on it's gonna sound better but like when i'm yeah. in the house when I vlog, when I'm in the house, I sometimes like to take it off because when I'm talking and the camera is facing outward, the mic is facing outward. You know what I mean? So like, you can't hear me as good. Well, like, spin it. You don't do that? Like, like if I'm filming this way, I'll just take this off, flip it around, and then it's oh, facing towards me. Oh, no, I never do that. But that's yeah. so smart. Because I was just... My husband's looking at me like, girl, you sound crazy. <laughs> He's like popping the mic out sometimes and like, you know, talking and now pop it back in if I was talking this way. But, and I couldn't, <laughs> like, when I'm, I only do that if I'm in the house though. Like, that's okay. how late 50 I am. Like, I'm like, you know what, gotta get it, gotta get it done. But I will do that. That is such a great vlog tip. That's a great That's... segment into the vlog tip segment because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm curious when you go to edit, do you notice a difference of like the points where you're talking to like the microphone compared to like without the microphone? Like, do you notice a difference? I just did it in my last vlog. My, I just did a vlog that went up yesterday about like getting my pantry organized and I did it yeah. in that one and I couldn't tell where I took the camera out versus when it wasn't. I mean, when I took oh, the mic out versus when it wasn't out. So, yeah. but I was inside. I would never do that if I was like on the go or outside or, you know, in the car yeah. or something like that. So I don't know. I mean, I think the mic works well, but you can tell the difference. Like if I were walking or outside or something, you'd be able to tell. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's just like the wind. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty solid without the mic, but once you get that mic, it just is so much mm -hmm. richer in the sound. So. Yeah, yeah. So just to like remind you guys, this is the new Nikon Z30 and we currently both have it set up in the creator kit that you can buy. So this is the Rode Video Micro. I have been using this microphone, I don't even know how many years. I think almost every content creator probably like should have this mic or does have this mic. It's so just so... Good. It's so easy because there's other ones that like have batteries or like you have to charge them or like figure out the settings. Like this one is literally just like plug and play. Like, like you just know it's on. And you do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it also comes with this grip right here with a remote that Aaron absolutely loves. Yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed. I love this remote. Yeah. I love the tripod grip for vlogging. It's very comfortable and lightweight. And then. Yeah doubles as a tripod so it's a tripod grip um mm -hmm. and it just sits very cute and nicely on whatever you need it to be on stably so i think that the way that they packaged it and made the creator accessory kit so like convenient mm -hmm. and small and compact is just perfect because i 
Child, I'll be throwing this thing in my bag. It goes in the trunk of my scooter. We just rode our scooters today. It goes everywhere. So I'm glad that it's like so light and easy to carry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what is like one vlogging tip that you have? Mm, okay. I feel like there's so many, but I'm like, hit me, hit me with something. <laughs> I, I love vlogging and I love watching vlogs. The mm. thing to me that makes a vlog from zero to like 10 is different angles and mm -hmm. using angles to like cut because I, I just see so many vlogs where like, this is the only thing we see is like their face or the only thing we see is like this. So mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, take some time, sit the camera down. You might have to look crazy for a second where you're doing a walking shot or, you know, you're doing the same thing a couple of times so you could get it from different angles. But once yeah. you edit it, it's going to look and feel so much better. It's going to have way more depth because you're, you know, it, it has a little bit more production value and you have something to edit. A lot of times mm -hmm. people don't have anything to edit because you don't have enough footage to play with. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you're editing if you're just talking the whole time to the, you, you know, your face. So that's one of my yeah. biggest tips is to adapt, like have a lot of different angle variety and playing with like speed and, you know, having some time lapses, maybe throwing in a little slow, mm -hmm. having, you know, just kind of like cutting to the music or the beat. So having speed in different angles is one of my biggest tips. What's one of yours? Yeah. On that like mindset, like one of my favorite things to do, I love watching other creators for one. So just like seeing what they're doing, but like if you're ever watching a movie or a TV show, pay attention to the shots that they get and how they get them. You know, like I find that so fascinating to be like, oh my gosh, wait, what did they do there to like make this transition happen? Or mm -hmm. like, why is this actually holding my interest? Because similar to you, like I, I don't love vlogs where it's just someone talking the whole entire time. Like I need, I need some B-roll. I need you to set the, set up yeah. the scene. Like I need, I need the cool shots to keep me interested in what you're doing, even if you're just like vacuuming your house. Right, exactly. And that's the thing about a lot that leads me into my next tip, which is one of the tips that I shared in my Nikon creator house video, but it's like so many people think their lives are so boring. And I'm like, that's fine. That's what this is for. Because when you have a camera and you have editing, you can make the most boring mon mundane task seem interesting. Mm -hmm. If you can get it from different angles, put some really good music behind it, you know, like add some oomph to it, make it part of a full storyline. Then, you know, you have something where a lot of people's regular lives, that's what blogging is. It's like showing mm -hmm. their regular life. You know, most people's lives ain't that interesting and that's fine, but you have a story to tell. And that's like where the vlog, you know, it's going to tell the story visually and through your own words or experience. Mm -hmm. Something I always say is like, what's boring to you is interesting to someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, so like me puzzling, I think it's so boring, but like, I mean, I love it so much, but I continue sharing it because people think it's just like a fun little fact about me, like something that I do. Um, but like, even like just thinking about your life, like riding on scooters, like at this point, you're probably so used to it, but I'm like, that's so fascinating because that's not my life. So I'm like, I want to see more of that life, like you going to the office and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. I totally agree. It's just, we're so ingrained in our routine that we forget that no one else lives our life or their life yes. the way we do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I mean, and the thing is, if you look on YouTube and you're like, why don't I just watch this? Like, I literally watched <laughs> someone clean their house. <laughs> what made me sit here and watch yeah. this? Like, that's where, you, it, to me, that should encourage a lot of content creators to be like, okay, like, I can do this. Like, I literally mm -hmm. watched cleaning motivation marathon for an hour you know while i was cleaning and all they yeah. were doing was vacuuming wiping off surfaces dusting you know mm -hmm. and it's like it's not interesting everyone hates cleaning but for some reason it's huge on youtube and it's huge because people relate to it so yeah and that's what like i sometimes just want to feel like i'm hanging out with a friend like even when i was getting ready for this not that i did much to get ready for this um i was watching a youtube video and it was just like i was like facetiming with a friend type of vibe and like those are the vlogs that i gravitate towards the most and that's what i try to incorporate within my videos as well yeah i love that 
I think yeah. another tip that I would have is to have a beginning, middle, and end um, oh. in a vlog because, and in any content, honestly, I think that a lot of times people start vlogging and they, you know, you want to run out and get the best gear. You want to do all these things and show everything, but then there's nothing like stringing the story along and it's just, it's boring, <laughs> you know? I don't yeah. know what other way to say it. And so when you set the scene, you have to set the scene in the beginning or like set the intention of whatever this this piece of content is going to be. And, you know, for the that that oftentimes happens in your title and your thumbnail as well. Like you're just kind of reinforcing it in the video, mm -hmm. but then like execute on it and then show us the end. Like what's the end result or what? You know, I, I just feel like it needs to be kind of like packaged and wrapped up. And most of the vlog channels that I see who have huge vlog channels like they do that like it's a very specific intention the videos aren't super long i mean you can make it however long you want but they're yeah. executing this main intention and then at the end we figure out whether or not it was good or bad or you know happened or yeah. didn't, whatever you know mm -hmm. what I mean? so i think sometimes with vlogging people try to like do the whole entire day and then you're overwhelmed because you've got five hours of footage and you don't know how to edit and you're you know you've got like all it's, it's a lot you know it can be a lot so if you can start off with like one small piece of your day or one small task and vlog that mm -hmm. then expand into more you know longer vlogs yeah and i think that's so helpful when it comes to like ranking in search as well like if you want to grow a vlog channel i always get asked like how do you grow a vlog channel i think Vlog channels are definitely a harder like niche to grow in compared to if you have something that's like so specific of like health and fitness, you know, but like even if you want to vlog health and fitness, like you have a set topic, a set point to your videos. And if you want to grow your channel, if you want to rank and search, like there needs to be a point day in the lives. Yeah, they're so much fun to watch. And like once you have an audience, your audience loves day in the lives, but it's like at the beginning, that's not going to it's not going to be easy for people to find you. Yeah. You have to like really hook people. If you're going to start a channel as a vlog channel, like you have to hook them with every single aspect of your content, like the title, the thumbnail, as soon as people click on, like they have to be pulled into like yeah. locked in because most of the time on YouTube, people are finding you from search. Like there's a goal in mind. They're trying to figure something out, like how to, work a screwdriver so they're gonna like you know search that and i agree i think it's it's gonna be harder it's possible it's definitely possible i think oh you yeah just have to like cut through the noise and not mm -hmm. do the same type of vlogs that you're seeing everyone else do so and that's why i love like people um like uh dang it none of the names of the people that i love are coming up in my mind but like a lot of vloggers who like some some vloggers might take like cinematography, like maybe they were a previous like videographer. And so like their vlogs look really cinematic, but then there's some mm -hmm. who are like very raw and uncut and like swear and curse and like, you know, are like letting whatever, like they're just super yeah. cool. And so like finding your style is like, to me, the biggest part to building a vlog audience. Yeah. Okay, so I see like one comment over here that I really want to address. It says, fear is still stopping me from making YouTube videos. I don't want to be in the videos and don't know what to make videos about. So I'm curious, when you first got started, were you like terrified to make YouTube videos or what was that like for you? Terrified? No, because I actually have a background in news and video yeah. and, and all this stuff. So like I was scared when I first like started my internship at a news station you know like yeah I, yeah I was on YouTube at that point when it came to like starting my YouTube channel I was more confident because I had just finished my uh stretch my contract with National Geographic as their digital correspondent and I was like if they can see something in me to have hired me like that company you know like I feel like I have something that I can offer to the world. And like, yeah. I kind of went into my YouTube channel with that mindset. And I was like, this has to work, you know, like that was how I went in. So 
Yeah. I will say that I was a little bit nervous, but I was more excited because I'm like, this is the first time I'm ever doing something on my own. I have been working in news. I have worked at multiple companies where I was doing on camera stuff, but it was never like for me. So I was mm -hmm. excited that I could tell my own story through my own lens. And, you know, I think that fear can be a motivator, but I also think like, you know, a lot of people are nervous when they're starting, but I think if you can channel that into some more excitement and try to think of like some of the positive outcomes that can happen, like what if it does work, you know, like, mm -hmm. so, you know, were you scared? How would, oh, yeah. You so when I started my brand, I didn't show my face. So like whenever I get these comments of like, oh, I'm like afraid to show my face. It's like, I get it. Cause I, I didn't want my friends or family or anyone to find out what I was doing. So I started my blog first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started my blog first. And then I got to the point where I just realized like the creators I loved, the accounts that I liked following, it was them. It was their personality. And I was like, well, no one knows who the heck I am. Like, why would anyone follow me when they don't even know like the face behind the brand. Like it just like didn't make sense to me. And but even when I was making my first few videos, oh man, I was like so nervous. I was, it's, it's weird to pick up a camera and talk to it for the first time. Like it's, it's yeah. definitely not a natural thing. Once you've got like a hundred videos under your belt, like you're just gonna start getting better and better. But we all start at zero and there's so many people out there that are like afraid to get started. But like, if you continue to live in that fear, like you're the only thing that's holding yourself back. Yeah. And what's crazy to me is that people are, are a lot of people are scared that it's not going to look good. Or like, it's more of a pride thing than like, yeah. I'm actually scared. It's like, I don't want people to think that I'm, you know, not good or that I don't have a good camera or that I don't have a good blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I will look at my content from maybe even six months ago and I'm like, ooh, like, why did I do that? Or why did I say that? Or right. like, you know what I mean? It's like, and but six months ago, that was my best piece of content. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like, that was my best for that time. So it's like, I could look at my video from last week and be like, oh, I should have did something different. I should have edited. I should have said, you know? And so it's like, but in that moment when I put it out, that was my personal best. So you're yeah. always going to be growing. And that's why you have to just put it out there as like whatever the best version of what you can do right now is don't try to be your absolute best because you're mm -hmm. not going to do that until you like master your best every single day so I think it's just getting out of like you said get out of your own head because the only way you're going to get better is if you start and then yeah. you're going to constantly progress so yeah and like perfectionism is just an excuse to hold yourself back like that's all like nothing's ever ever going to be perfect so like sometimes you just gotta yeah and it's like a decorative version of procrastination like let's be real yes like you know it sounds better but it's the same thing yes. <laughs> yeah yeah um, so yeah okay i mean i think that's it unless you got more you want to share here we just wanted to hop on real quick uh, share the camera a little bit more with you guys. If you do have any questions about this camera, Aaron and I are now using it like full time. This is our main camera. So you guys can always ask us on Instagram or in our YouTube videos. Um, I mean, it's so funny. Like just one last point. It's so funny because people will be like, they'll DM me like, no, but really like, yeah, <laughs> I got that yesterday in my Q and A on Instagram. They're like, how do you feel? And I was like, I honestly like it. <laughs> now that, that this post, this this isn't sponsored, right? Like, this, like I'm like, no, I actually love the camera. Like it's that good, and I'm yeah. using it. Like, I would not do a long term partnership with a company or a brand that I just didn't agree in, or that I wasn't using like this. Like, yeah, I love the camera. So yeah, I feel like. If, if you've seen our content lately, you've seen the Z30, what it can do. And um, yeah, we're both, we're both loving it. So keep asking yeah. us questions. Like you can, you That's, guys can find me on my channel on Aaron on Demand if you want to ask me questions. And Catherine, I mean, you guys mm -hmm. are you're here already, so. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, I'm seeing a few. One, someone asked, when does the camera come out? It's already launched, you guys. So you can get access to this right now. I have to update 
the description down below, uh, but I will have a link down there for you guys. This is gonna live on my YouTube channel. And then someone else asked, what is this tripod? So this is the grip that comes in the creator kit in case you missed it. Um, the remote just like pops out here. This can actually work 20 feet away from your camera, which is insane. So if you wanna like set up your camera, run away, start the shots, then you don't have like all this dead footage that you're just gonna cut out. You can do that. Or, Thumbnail photos is what I use remotes for. Like I'll have my camera set up on a tripod and I'll, you can hit record or just like the shutter release button here. Like um, it's a cool feature like in the shutter release where when you're in selfie mode, it will have a countdown. So like mm -hmm. if you are using the remote and like you want to throw the remote on the floor or like hide it somewhere, it'll give you, like you can set it to three seconds to like let you prepare for the shot. Yes. You know? Plan. so that's cool yeah. like they have really cool creator features baked into the camera that just make the process so much more easy mm -hmm. yeah I use that when I'm taking my thumbnail photos because I don't want the remote in the photo yeah. so then I'll like hide it behind me mm -hmm. and like no one is any wiser no. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah okay well I think that's it you guys thank you for joining us live my first ever live stream Erin thanks for being here no I'm so glad I was here for your first live we figured it out. It was a little, a little rough start. I accidentally had it set to private, you guys. So it's fine. We're here. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys.